And here we are. We are in my daily hero, the Mercedes C-Class. The first thing I want to say and actually point out is, look at the mileage. This car has 507,497 kilometers mileage on it. This is a 2011 car, which means that it did quite a lot uh, every year. I already got almost 40,000 kilometers on it. So I bought it like around 460, 470,000. Uh, I'm driving quite a lot. So um, kilometers are just going to come by day by day. Just like the B, this car is supposed to work and bring me from A to B every single day. Now, what do we have in, in terms of interior? We have, like I said, the 5G Tronic automatic gearbox. Of course, it has the economic and sport mode. To be honest, uh, with this kind of car, I would stick to the uh, eco mode, to the eco economic mode. The sport one, yeah, it keeps the, the revs high up way to the red line. But in a diesel car, in a daily diesel car, this is absolutely not needed. I'm not chasing lap times. I'm not chasing acceleration times. I don't care about drag lights, races and all those kind of bullshit. I just want to have my comfort. I want the RPM as low as possible. I don't want to be bothered by any kind of extra noises. Let's not forget the main purpose of this car is A to B without any problem. That's it. Uh, then we continue with, uh, uh, of course, a full set of electrical uh, windows and mirrors, fully adjustable. Like I said, the automatic uh, headlights. We have the classical handbrake, Mercedes style. We have a very nicely integrated dashboard, three main clocks or dials, as, uh, as people call them. We have the radio CD uh, navigation system. The navigation system is of course a little bit useless and, and out of out of time uh, already because it's from 2011 and I think the last update has been done like in 2013 or 14 so still you can imagine for six seven years the amount of changes on the roadmap I mean it's completely useless so just stick to Google Maps or Waze or similar. Uh, we have the tele integrated telephone, uh, we have the heated seats uh, with three uh, different options. We have the dual zone climate control. So, uh, and that's of course the jog control for the navigation. So I must say we are fully equipped. Like I said, this is the version in which, let me put the gear leader. Actually, I have to start the car. So you can see, it's an avant-garde version. It, it has the badge on it by Mercedes. Um, I think also the avant-garde has the silver trim line inside combined with a gray uh, a main dashboard color. Uh, what else? We have the regular uh, double armrest, so you can open it from this side, or if the passenger is here, you can open it from this side, and of course you can open it both sides. Uh, we have uh, two very nice cup holders. One is a bigger one, another one is a smaller one. You can fit various types of cups and cans and whatever, and coffee and, and, and Coca-Cola and so on. We have a, a glove compartment with a 12 volt uh, plug. You can charge your phone or whatever device. We also have uh, the other regular one where the ashtray is normally of course this is a non-smoker package car so you cannot actually smoke cigarettes here uh, although I'm sure people do it but these are not uh, really smart people doing it uh, so my suggestion is always never smoke in your car you make the car uh, smells and looks horrible uh, let me shut down the car uh, what else we have the uh, steering wheel mounted controls, you have the menu uh, where you can choose from between your trip computer, your navy, navigation, audio, telephone uh, and a couple of other options from the, uh, from the settings. Um, you can also control your uh, telephone uh, options, you have also voice commands which are not activated in our case because I don't have uh, the actual old school Nokia type of phone plugged in and to be honest if I have Bluetooth I obviously don't need that. Um, talking about Bluetooth uh, let me actually turn the radio on so you can see what I mean. We have here the um, uh, integrated like I said navigation uh, telephone, 
and the system menu where we can browse all kind of options and of course we have also the Bluetooth actually my phone is right now connected so I can of course do a hands-free uh, calling well I think in terms of front part of the interior we're quite uh, quite ready let me move now to the back <laughs> 